If you're looking for cheap, safe, and reliable MT, make sure you go check out my new sponsor, SafeMBAMT.com. Use code JC2K for 5% off and go build that God Squad you always wanted. Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be building the best team possible for 1 million MT in NBA 2K21, my team right now. Um, this team is a basically i would say borderline god squad you are getting a lot of elite cards in this team when i look at this lineup that i have built um i really think you could run this lineup in a competitive setting and the thing is this lineup is well for one it's entirely my opinion so i think there are some cards that people other people would prefer over cards that i put in this lineup but also it doesn't include any free cards it doesn't include guys like invincible luka Doncic, cam reddish terry dishinger james wiseman eddie curry even taco fall if you grinded for him there are so many free cards in the game right now that you can supplement in this lineup that will even allow you to free up more mt to upgrade other positions in this team but if you have a million mt which right now you can buy a million mt for like 80 bucks or you could just grind out a million of tea. If you're a nobody spent player, there's a really good chance you have a million of tea. You can build this squad and then you can supplement guys. For example, if you want to plug in Cam Reddish at one of your shooting guard positions, that's going to free up some more of tea that you can use in another position. And um, I'll get back to that to that point at the end of the video. But I really believe you can build a team that is uh, really able to compete even at the highest level for a million of tea right now in the game. So. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's take a look at this team. So at the point guard position, I personally believe, as you all know, the point guard position is the most important position in 2K right now. And the guy that I picked is Andre Kirilenko. I think Andre Kirilenko is, in my personal opinion, the best point guard in the game right now. I know a lot of people will say they say prefer Ben Simmons, and that's okay. If you prefer Ben Simmons, honestly, just plug Ben in here. They're very similar priced, similarly priced anyway. But for me personally, I would go with the Andre Kirilenko uh, route right now. He's six foot nine with seven foot four wingspan. He's big at the point guard position. He's got hot spots everywhere. Fifty six hops, including Showtime. All the shooting badges you need, all the playmaking badges you need, and every single defensive badge on Hall of Fame in the game. He's not missing a single important badge on this card. 99, 98 on everything defensively. Great athleticism, shooting dunking you put a speed shoe on this card and he's basically an invincible card you put the speed like the speed edges that boost speed speed ball and acceleration at 99 and you're looking at a card is basically an invincible card the coach boosts his three point up his driving dunk is boosted by a coach as well i mean and the shoe actually was driving dunk too like you're literally looking at a borderline invincible card if you put that shoe on this on this guy he also has jump shot 98 on very quick it's one of the better jumpers in the game as you all know jump shot 98 is amazing i don't love his upper his upper is not the best upper in the game but it's still a very solid upper super easy to green i'm consistent with his release super easy to get off he's a he's an elite card pro two size up can't curse slide because of his weight he's got the pro three behind the back as well he's one of the best defensive cards in the game uh, i think he's the best defensive point guard in the game um, and I mean, he's an, he's an exceptional card on both ends of the court. He really can do it all. I think he is the guy who can be a centerpiece to an elite team, uh, in 2k right now. I start Lamar, um, him as my starting point guard right now. And at the back of point guard position, we have Lamar Odom, who is a guy who I don't think people talk about very much. And do, I don't think this card is a top three to five point guard in the game but right outside of that he's right up there because he sticks with 10 of the six foot 11 wingspan that's the one thing he'll give you is he gives you size for an affordable price 230 pounds hot spots everywhere 55 hops including showtime range again all the shooting badges you need all the playmaking badges you need and all the defensive badges you need comes with the rim protector badge again on the point guard super nice to have that's a key badge great great stats all the way around again 90 pluses and everything 92 93 94 he's not a goat card but he's dang close and coach boosts are going to get him close to it again paul george released the marcus Aldridge upper i think this really release is kind of weird lefty it's not the easiest release it's pretty easy to green i think it just looks weird so it takes time getting used to but he also has the pro two sizes pro three behind the back the jumper is good he gets good dunk animations he's a good card he's a very very good card and he's 50,000 mt that's the thing you're getting to this point ak is 200,000 mt lamar is 50,000 mt you spend 250,000 mt on your point cards you got two elite defensive guys who have size and the ability to create on offense as well as shoot at a high level slash at a high level really can do it all and i think that's crucial at that point guard position is to get two guys who can play very very well at the starting two we have a new card mr lebron james and this lebron is so good i think this bet lebron is basically a clone of the invincible lebron except he can play the shooting guard position six when i was seven foot wingspan hot spots ever 54 hoffs does not miss a single hall of fame badge except for maybe rim protector that's a crucial hoff at all stats are incredible all the way around he's a borderline goat card in his stats he has the dante x and base with the lebron upper which is super chicken just like the invincible lebron does pro two size up pro three behind the back perfect dribble six this card is unbelievable one of the best cards in my team right now i think this is a top five card in the game you can get him for about 200,000 mt he, when you have lebron at the starting at the starting two and um 
AK at your starting one. Like this is this is my backcourt on my God Squad. Like one of the best teams in the game you could possibly build, and you can get these guys on your team if you're for a million on a million MT squad builder. So both of these guys too wind up costing about 200,000 MT each, but they're super super elite. And then at the backup uh, shooting guard is a guy who again I think is super undervalued, and that's Michael Jordan, who basically again looking at the stats is very very similar to his invincible. I did a gameplay on this card if you haven't checked that out, go do that. But um. MJ, he's six foot six to six eleven when he spent 195 pounds, hot spots, everyone 54 hops. And then you look at the badges. Again, the only badges he's missing is rim protector, post move lockdown, rebound chaser. Um, 98 speed, 98 on the defensive stats, 99s, 98 driving duck, elite shooting, elite athleticism. He really has it all. His jumper on very quick is super smooth, easy to grain, and consistent. If y'all watched my gameplay on this card, y'all saw that. He's super, super good. Pro two size if he can curry slide, and he's got the pro three behind the back. Again, an incredible card, basically invincible Michael Jordan. And he costs 55,000 MT. Like, you're getting incredible value for this for this LeBron card and this MJ card at your shooting guard position. And at this point, I mean, we've barely spent over, we spent just over 500,000 MT on these positions, which is definitely a lot. But I think having an elite backcourt is very important. And with these four guys, I think you really have accomplished that at having an elite backcourt. And then at the shooting guard position, or at the small forward position, we have Mr. Anton Jameson, who, as y'all know, not this Anton Jameson, sorry, the Dark Matter Anton Jameson. As y'all know, Anton Jameson is... I mean, he's, he's one of my favorite jumpers in the game. If y'all watch my streams, y'all know I love his jumper. I did wind up just selling this card because I run a bull bull at the small forward position now. Um, but that being said, this Anton Jameson is amazing. Six foot eight with seven foot one wingspan, hotspots everywhere and 56 hoffs. Again, not missing any crucial badges except for maybe handles for days, dead eye and flexible. Super elite defense on both the perimeter and the interior. Great athleticism, three point shot, driving dunk, sweet with ball. I mean, he's another one of those cards that with coach boost is a borderline invincible. I think the Dante Exxon with Carmelo Anthony jumper combination. I would personally say, in my opinion, this is my favorite jump shot in the game. This lower with this upper, in terms of consistently greening every single time, it is so knocked down. He can curry slide because under six foot nine, he's got the pro one behind the back, which is super solid. At the three, when he gets sharp take, I mean, good luck guarding this dude. He is so, so chicken. Just incredible, incredible card who could really do it all on both ends of the court. Again, he's 70,000 MT. If y'all don't have like Bull Bull in your lineup, you should have Anton Jameson at the three because I think he is that good on both gens of the game. And then at the backup three, we have Thon Maker, who's a guy who I think a lot of people think is better than Anton Jameson. Now, for me personally, I'm taking Anton Jameson, but that being said, Thon Maker's a seven foot small forward who can really do it all, just like Anton can. Seven foot with a seven three wingspan, hot spots everywhere, 47 hops, including showtime, range, flexible, green machine, dead eye, ankle breaker, handles for days, quick first step, clamps, heart crusher, seven three, temperature. He hasn't even has that pogo stick or the, the post move lockdown rebound chaser and rim protector and anton jameson had those as well which are super nice badges that you want to have on a small forward defense is a little bit lacking but you if you put a defensive grinch on him that solves that problem and then the driving dunk is high enough the speed athleticism and three-point shot are amazing especially for a seven footer he moves great off the burst jump shot 47 with the 40s with the kobe Bryant upper if y'all have used this jumper on taco and bead um Orthon maker y'all know how chicken jump shot 47 is it's not one of the fastest releases in the game but in terms of consistently green off the catch and shoot or the peak it's it's one of the best he also has the pro two size up pro three behind the back just another exceptional all-around card he's going for right at 100,000 mt right now and you pick up these guys duo it's 170,000 mt for the two of these guys and you're looking at an elite small forward duo as well so looking at this team so far we have an absolutely exceptional um, lineup I believe so far and it really continues into the power forward and center position as well at the power power forward position We have a guy who I don't think people talk about very much But for his value is absolutely incredible and Chris Webber This is a guy who I have run into a couple times even in a competitive setting and people are running this card and he's actually super solid He's six foot out of seven foot three with seven foot three wings, but he's got a good player build 57 hops hot spots everywhere He's got showtime range uh all the playmaking badge except for ankle breaker and handles for days all the defensive badges that you need again really solid defense all the way around great speed athleticism dunking and shooting another one of those cards who's just elite at everything Kimball walker race is a really super solid release it's not the best release in the game but it's very solid it's consistent it's quick it's easy to green pro two sides up pro three behind the back again he's got great dribble six a great jumper and the ability to really do it all in the court and you're getting him for thirty-five thousand mt like that type of value is is just ridiculous and that's the same thing with the backup power forward position as well you're 
they're saving MT with the power forward position this team with Chris Webber and Bam Adebayo, but they're both 35,000 MT. Like Bam Adebayo is 30K, Chris Webber is 35K. So for 75 or 65K in total, you get two Dark Matter power forwards who really can do it all on the courts. Bam is 6'10 with 7'3 wingspan, hotspots everywhere, and 55 hops, including showtime range. Um, got the quick first step unpluckable. Doesn't come with ankle breaker handles for days. You're going to want to add those to him if you're going to use this card. But otherwise, again, he comes with all the defensive badges you need. Exceptional defensive stats all the way around on the perimeter and the interior. Great dunking, athleticism, shooting. Just another really, really well-rounded card. Jump shot 62. It's not the prettiest, but it's easy to green. I like this jumper in terms of its easiness to green. Pro 2 size up as well. Just another elite all-around card who really is capable of doing it all for 30,000 MT. And I mean, y'all see, with a million MT at this point, you can build a true god squad. And that doesn't change with the center position. At the start, at the starting center position for this team is the guy who I have running my backup center right now uh, in Joel Embiid. And I think this Embiid card is just another exceptional center option. Seven foot, seven foot five wingspan, hotspots everywhere, and 56 hops, including Showtime, Flexible, Green Machine, Range, Hotzone Hunter, Quick First Step, Unpluckable, Clamps, Heart Crusher, Inceptor, Intimidator, Pogo Stick, Rebound Chaser, Rim Protector, etc. Doesn't come with handles for days or ankle breaker on Hoff. You definitely want to add this ankle breaker up to gold. But besides that, look at the stats 98 interior, 93 perimeter, 95 driving dunk, athleticism, shooting, speed with the ball, defense, rebounding. He's got it all. Again, just another one of those cards you really can do it all. Jump shot 47, same jumper like I was talking about with Thon Maker. It's one of the best jumpers in the game in terms of consistently greening easily. It's just fast enough to get off consistently off the peak or the catch. It's super good. Pro 2 sides up, Pro 3 behind the back. Just another one of those guys who really is capable of doing it all. And he is only 125,000 MT. I think he's one of those guys who can be a centerpiece for your team. One of your best players in the court in this Joe Bell and beat card. And then finally, at the backup position, we have another guy who I think has kind of gone under the radar a little bit because he came out when the Spotlight Sims came out earlier this week. But that's uh, Dark Matter and Mo Bamba. And Mo Bamba, if y'all have used Mo Bamba's Diamond or um, Ruby earlier this year, y'all know that he was an elite budget card. And this card is just an elite center in general. Seven foot with a seven foot ten wingspan. He's got massive like Dino Raja type arm arms that he's got those like really really long arms help him play every lane he's tall so he's got a big player build hotspots everywhere 54 hops including showtime he's missing one hotspot actually but i don't think that's hotspot is super crucial he's got the shooting badges he's got the playmaking badges needs ankle breaker needs handles for days um, but besides that again he really comes with everything defensively super solid offensively super solid another one of those guys i don't even feel like i have to talk about stats at this point in the year because everybody comes with every key stat at a very high rating and then jump shot 109 is a super solid jumper if y'all have used this jaron jackson if y'all have used Mo Bamba, you got really good cards. Like, I mean, it's a very, very good jumper. It's consistent. It's easy to grant. It's a chicken jumper. It's not the prettiest jumper in the world, but it's very chicken. And that's really the theme, I think, with all these jumpers at this point in the game. All these cards have good jumpers. They're all very easy to green with open shots. You will knock down shots with all these guys if you use them and learn their jumpers very easily. Pro 2 size up, Pro 3 behind the back as well. And he's only 75,000 MT. So, in total, this team winds up coming out to about 940,000 MT. So how much MT it's going to cost to build this team. So that leaves you with 60K if you had a mill to continue to build this team. Pick up guys who have maybe had a couple extra badges. Or it gives you the opportunity to potentially do something like this. And I'm just going to throw this out here. You throw in a guy like James Wiseman at this power forward position. And then you put Chris Weber off the bench. You sell Bam out of bio. You just freed up another 35K. You throw in Cam Reddish here instead of Michael Jordan. I love this MJ card. But you throw in Cam Reddish, who's free, and you just sell this MJ, and you sold but to free up another 55K. And all of a sudden, you're looking at 150,000 MT that you have in terms of flexibility to add to your squad. You sell Lamar Odom, you pick up Ben Simmons, and all of a sudden, I'm just going to bring, just going to plug this in here real quick for y'all to see. If just if y'all grind a couple spotlights for Cam Reddish and James Wiseman, you're all of a sudden looking at this team, which, I mean, the, the team that, I, the, if, that I'm showing y'all right now. I think if you have this team, you can go into a tournament and compete if you're good enough at the game. This is a comp lineup right here. And I mean, imagine having, if you have Taco Fall as well, you pluck Taco here, you got Joel Embiid off the bench and you got Eddie Curry right here. Like at that point, this is a truly comp lineup. And like, those are the things that add doing your spotlights will help you to be able to do. But even without doing spotlights, that team that I showed y'all is a super elite squad all the way around. And I think that a 1 million MT squad builder can compete in a competitive setting right now because it is an elite team with some of the best cards in the game. Guys like AK, LeBron, Anton Jameson, Joel Embiid, Thon Maker, and Mo Bamba, et cetera. They're very, very elite cards and everybody in this team is capable of doing everything and helping to contribute in a competitive setting that lead you to wins. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already to help me push towards the 2000 subscriber mark on the channel, like 65 subs away. So I'm trying to hit that in the next like week or two. That'd be super cool. And I appreciate all the recent support, but yeah, we'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.